In the last tutorial of Bantike, I shared how we can zoom in through the text using the track camera inside After Effects. In this tutorial, I'll do the same transition inside Premiere Pro when you have no camera tracking option. You know Premiere Pro has some limitations but I'll try to make it easy. If you missed that tutorial, I'd keep the link in the description of this video. We are inside Premiere Pro with two video clips on the timeline. First of all, we take the type tool and type our title like India. Then double click on it to enable editing mode. Let's move to the effect controls and expand the text. Here we have some options for editing the text like font, style, color and others. If you want a better title like Bantike then you can do it in Photoshop. Ok it is time to select the selection tool and scroll down to increase the text size. We will increase the scale of the text maximum inside the frame. Otherwise we may some issues when try to increase the title size in the transform effect. Next go to the effect section and find the effect drop shadow. Apply this effect to the text layer on the timeline to make it like 3D. Let's go to the drop shadow inside the effect controls. Now we can adjust the distance make it around 12 softness 5 and the opacity to the maximum. Let's see the changes. You can also change the direction of the shadow and color if you want. Again go to the effects and search for the transform effect. Drag this effect over to the timeline and apply it to the text. Now depending on the duration of the transition, we can move the time indicator to the right around 4 seconds from the beginning frame. Go to the transform effect and create two keyframes of scale and position. Now let's go to the fast frame and set two keyframes of scale and position by clicking those little icons. Now we have to decrease the scale's value and adjust the position of the text. Let's check it. When we confirm our settings then click on this little right arrow icon to go to the last keyframe. Now increase the size of the scale and adjust the position until it goes out of the frame. It's a quite heavy effect so we can hit the enter key to render it for a smooth playback. And the animation of the text is not fine. So let's do some adjustments to make it normal. So first expand the position and the scale. Then ease out for the beginning keyframes and ease in for the ending keyframes. It looks good than before but we can make it better. So select the influence handle and drag it straight to the right. We can do the same thing for this one too. Now click on this keyframe of position to active the influence handle and then drag it to the right. This way we can make the animation slow at the beginning. This text animation seems better now but it is little bit faster than the background video. So now we have to increase the speed of the background video following the title animation. To do it right click on the video and select the speed. What are the background video layer? Next hit the P key to get the pen tool. Now click here to set a keyframe and then hit the V key for the selection tool. This line is now showing 100% speed. We will increase it to around 150% following the title animation. Now click on this keyframe and drag it to the right to make the speed ramp allows the transition area smooth. Click and hold this handlebar to rotate it to the left to make a curve. So it is time for the masking. Let's move the text layer to the upper layer and place the second video to the left. To make the masking easy, we can select the text layer and change its opacity to 50%. Ok highlight the second video and to get the complete freedom to draw a mask select the pen tool under opacity in the effect controls. Make sure the time indicator is at the beginning frame then change zoom level to 100%. Now we can draw a mask exactly here. Let's go to the mask on and set a keyframe of the mask path. Select the mask on otherwise you can't change the masking points. Move the time indicator a few frames to the right and change the masking points when needed. This way we have to complete the masking and you can see the second video inside the mask. So finally our masking is done and we can increase the opacity of the text layer to 100%.
You can check everything and take initiative if needed. Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we change a few settings in the mask opacity. Let's add a keyframe here, then drag the time indicator to the left on second and create another keyframe with value 0. Is out for the first keyframe and is in for the last keyframe. Please have a look at the program monitor to see how it looks. And the last thing, I wanna bring the natural motion blur to this title animation. So we must uncheck this box and set the shutter angle value in the transform effect. Go to the sequence to render the video or hit the enter key on the keyboard. That is today's Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you really enjoy this transition tutorial of Bantike. I'll be back in the next video. Till then, goodbye.